So you say that uh, sales are likely to be lower in February, but are you also bracing yourself for a longer term negative impact from coronavirus? Good morning, uh, Nira. Thank you for receiving me. Um, effectively, uh, at this stage of the crisis, of the coronavirus crisis, it's very difficult to guess what's going to happen. Uh, our first concern was about our employees, and no one among the machine employees in China have been uh, affected. Um, and of course, uh, our factories have resumed activity uh, yesterday morning. Um, but we are very prudent about uh, the potential consequence of this uh, of this situation. We know that uh, our sales will be neg negatively impacted uh, in February. Beyond that, it's extremely difficult to guess what's, uh, what's going to happen. And um, if, the, if the Chinese economy is going to uh, stop for a very long period, then it will have an impact on uh, the entire supply chain on some industries, including uh, automotive. For the time being, we have yes. no specific warning or no specific concern about uh, our own supply. Uh, why did you decide to reopen the factories, Eve? And have you considered moving uh, production elsewhere? Our factories in China are mostly dedicated to serve the Chinese market. So uh, Fortunately, uh, we have very good sales in China in December and uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, so our inventory level is pretty low. Uh, that's why we needed to uh, resume our factories and will, of course, adapt the activity according to uh, the level of demand. Eve, you've lowered forecasts for 2020, but those numbers don't actually take into account the impact of coronavirus yet. So how much worse could it get given the backdrop already that led to that lowering of the 2020 forecast? Our 2020 outlook was mostly based on uh, uh, the global trend of uh, the different markets we are serving. Uh, we believe that overall the original equipment markets in all our activities, passenger car, truck and uh, specialty equipment such agriculture or construction uh, will probably will negat be negative during the year, although the replacement market will probably demonstrate a, a stable outlook. Um, so our outlook for 2020 was based on this uh, hypothesis. We just mentioned that if there was a systemic uh, consequence of a coronavirus uh, crisis, then it's much more difficult to guess uh, what is going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we have discussed um, some of the headwinds, of course, from coronavirus, but is there a potential tailwind at all to your business from lower commodity prices from the coronavirus? It can be one consequence, but uh, at this stage of the crisis and uh, knowing that uh, China uh, just come back from uh, the uh, Chinese New Year uh, holidays, it's extremely difficult to guess what are the, all the consequences of this, uh, of this situation in China. I just also Eve want to remind that uh, China represents around 5% of our global sales. So uh, it has also for us let's say, limited uh, consequences are we are less exposed uh, than, for example, the pure automotive uh, industries. Understood. And on the pure automotive industries, Eve, I mean, certainly we have been seeing some ripple effects for some of the car makers in Europe. Um, what kind of conversations are you having with your customers? Are they uh, concerned and perhaps slowing down any orders or anything like that? We are, of course, uh, discussing with our customers. We are also, uh, our main concern was about our supply organization uh, to make sure that uh, our factories outside of China might not be impacted by uh, any uh, rupture in any supply chain. And for the time being, uh, we have no specific uh, concern or worries uh, on that side.